Hey everybody, Nick here. Welcome to No Ideas Media. This week in Maricopa, Arizona, I got up close and personal with the future of agriculture. This is Dot, and I'm going to show you her anatomy. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you doing today? I'm good. So this is Tim, everybody. You can see the remote control he's got there around his neck. Tim uh, has the coolest toy in the world. It's sitting right back there. What are we looking at, Tim? Today, behind us, we have the DOT platform and a Connect high clearance sprayer loaded on the platform. Okay, this is an agricultural thing, right? Correct, yes. It does not look like an agricultural thing, Tim. Where's the cab? There is no cab. Why? Because nobody needs to sit there. Perfect, okay, so show me what's what then. I want to know, how does DOT see the world, Tim? Yeah, for sure, come. Let's go take it out. So on the front up here, we have the eyes of DOT. We have a bunch of cameras mounted that will give you full view of the machine forward and sideways. Yep. These cameras here will detect objects as well as display video of what is happening in the field while the machine is operating. Right. And then below that we have LiDAR and radar. So mm. these will be object detection as well. So they'll be able to measure distances away from objects that would be in the field. Gotcha. Tim, why is this, so this would be Dot's head, yeah? Yep, pretty much. Why is it not in the center of her body? Why is it off to one side like this? So with our platform, you can operate in two directions. So right now we're in our sprayer operations in the narrow mode. Okay. And then once you put Seedmaster's drill on it, we can operate in the wide mode. So then this orientation allows us to see both directions. So with it set up the way it is now, this is the front. Correct. And you can have it set up in another way where this side would be the front. That is correct. Okay, so that's why the, that's why the LiDAR system here is kind of off to one side. Gotcha. So how does DOT drive itself through the world? What is it powered by? Like it looks like hydraulic motors there on the on the wheels. Is that correct? Yeah. So there's a Cummins engine under the hood. Okay. And then there's operating hydraulic pumps. So then there's four hydraulic pumps in each on one hydraulic pump in each wheel that allows it to move. Okay, gotcha. Now another part of this too, uh, this is looking like one piece, but this is not one piece, correct? That's correct. So everything purple is a sprayer. Okay. And everything black is dot. Okay, so, so sketch this out for me. How does this come in and out of here? Like how does it detach? So there's four lifting hooks around the frame of dot. So they lift, hook up to our purple sprayer yep. and then they'll grab the lifting arms and pull it onto the platform itself. Okay, so you could call DOT like the Swiss army knife of agricultural implements then? Very much so, you can put any implement on here. Okay, so speaking of which, what implement do we have on here right now? So this is a 120 foot high clearance sprayer made okay. by Connect. Alright, that's 120 feet from that end to that end over there. And, uh, and, and it goes on this machine in this kind of long ways orientation, yes? Correct. How much liquid does it carry, Tim? It carries 1,600 gallons. Okay, pause for a second. I don't want to throw off mine and Tim's flow, but I'm not going to contribute to a misunderstanding. That 1,600 gallons of liquid is honestly mostly water. Maybe a pop can, give or take, of active ingredient. Remember, you don't need much chemical, and you need to apply it to a really big field. So you need to use water to dilute it so you get it applied evenly. Okay, let's get back to this. What is that, uh, what is that in comparison to like an average sprayer that's normal? A uh, normal sprayer carries around 1,200 gallons. Okay. So we have an extra 400 gallons right there. Right on, is right that, on. Is my math correct? I, I think so. And okay. if it's not, I'll put up a little <laughs> annotation somewhere where it corrects your math. Okay. That's cool. Okay, so let's keep moving along here. Uh, one of the things I noticed about Dot when it was moving through the field and taking corners is that something interesting happened to the rate of spray from one side of the boom to the other side of the boom. What's going on there? That is correct. So we have Hawkeye on our sprayer booms. So that allows us to have individual nozzle control. Okay. So as we're completing a turn, the outer tip of the boom will be moving faster than the inside. Okay. So each nozzle will adjust accordingly to that speed. Okay. So the outside boom will open and apply more product and the inside will decrease the rate. But where's the brain? Where's Dot's thinking? If, if this doesn't need a person, Where's the brain? The brain's right up at the front of Dot here. Behind that panel, Okay. all the computers are up in there. Right in there, hey? Eh? Yeah. Right on, and that's proprietary awesomeness that you're not gonna show me, right? No, we're not gonna open that. Panel. Oh, I bet you're not. All right, cool. What else is there to see? What's Dot's butt look like? Let's go check out her butt. Sure, let's go check her out. All right, let's go check out her butt. This is quite the machine. So, uh, so we're looking at, like we're seeing these two sprayer arms, Tim, and they're attached to this uh, this kind of subframe here that's got hydraulics running all over the place. What what's what is this? Is this lift up and down or? Yeah, that's correct. So this is our center rack on a parallel linkage. So from dots frame or from the sprayer frame on dot, it'll 
control the height of the booms off the ground. Hmm. Right on. Cool. Is there anything else you want to show us? Anything you're proud of? Anything you think is cool? Of course, the whole unit is cool. Of course. Well, and I mean, the fact that you can remote control it there. Exactly, yeah. This is you're basically living the dream. We, uh, one thing we're working on is developing a uh, recirculating boom. Yep. So a lot of standard sprayers only have one boom pipe, so they wouldn't have this top line. Okay. So what we're doing is adding another line that will allow product to continuously recirculate back to the tank and allowing for a more even charge pressure in the lines. So that's the purpose. Correct. Okay, keeps the keeps the charge pressure correct. All right. Cool. Um, so what else can Dot do? I mean, we talked about the Swiss Army side of it. We see the sprayer on here. What are the other pieces of the knife? There's a lot of pieces in development, but currently we have ourselves a 40 foot coulter yep. for applying liquid fertilizer uh, with a coulter disc. Mm -hmm. And then as well, Seedmaster has their 30 foot drill. Uh, land roller and harvest cart. Wonderful. So that's actually a pretty decent implement. Mm -hmm. uh, today we, you know, 200 farmers give or take saw the thing, and uh, and uh, what did you think they thought? What, did you see happy faces? I, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of phones up in the air, and everybody's happy to see it operate. So yeah. it went good. So this is the future of agriculture, hey? Yes, it is. Well, thanks for showing us the future of agriculture. Appreciate it, Tim. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, have a good day, buddy. Time for beers.